So whether you're a parent or not, you probably have opinions on the way that kids are raised these days. And recently there's a lot being written about how today's gentle parenting is too rough on mothers and fathers who are trying to be like their own authoritarian, who are trying to not be like their own authoritarian parents. So do we think gentle parenting has done maybe a bit more harm than good in ways? It, this one's really, really hard because, you know, we're, we're parents. Uh, you know, our kids are both 10. Your son's almost 11. And is parenting different today than it was when we were kids? Absolutely, right? We can all agree that society yeah. is really changing. It, there's a lot of new challenges that our parents, quite frankly, never had. We have different challenges. I, I talk all the time about the fact that my parents were immigrants just trying to survive. The idea of thinking that I had any kind of psyche that could be damaged by the way that they were raising me, it didn't cross their mind, right? It was survival mode. Having said that, though, um, is has it gone too far? Yeah, you know why parenting is really hard today in addition to everything I just said? Is because we are so cognizant that we all have had, you know, different parts of our childhood the way that we were parented, that we don't want to pass on to our kids. Mm -hmm. That's really, really hard. Again, that's not something our parents had to worry about or thought about. But I don't want to pass on things that were really tough for me onto my kids. And if that means that parenting is hard, parenting is supposed to be hard. Mm -hmm. I, I, you have the responsibility to raise another human being. It's going to be difficult. Does that mean, however, that I don't believe in consequences? I believe in consequences. <laughs> and I think that is what we have lost in yeah. gentle parenting. And, yeah. As a non-parent, <laughs> yeah, this is the non-parent side. This is completely observational, but I think it's doing so much harm, not on the kids, but on the parents. Yeah. I get so protective of my mom friends when I see these, that their kids are essentially holding them hostage. That's how it feels as the observer looking in. It's like these little human beings who are not able to articulate a feeling, hold a thought in their head, make a decision, because their brains are still soft, are holding all the cards. Yeah. They're holding yeah. all the cards, and I get so protective of them. I, I'm, I'm like, the kids know what they're doing, too. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I feel what you're saying. So there's almost like there's two schools of thought. There's the school of thought, which is that like kids, you know, when they sass or they do something wrong, like just go and go to your room or do this or do that. And you just, there's an, there's a person who's in charge and the kid is not that person. And you just, you do as you're told and that's that, right? And I think that's what we're trying to resist against because I don't know, for me, it's, uh, I think that our relationship with our parents is also the relationship that we end up modeling our room, our future relationships in. Mm -hmm. And so I will admit, I don't know if anyone can relate to this, that when I get into an argument with my partner, I sometimes revert into that little kid mode, right? Mm -hmm. I go back into these childhood wounds and there's things that are resurrected that we've dealt with in therapy, we're still dealing with. And, and I don't want my son to do the same thing. What I'm trying to model with my son, and it is exhausting, <laughs> it is, <laughs> is, is for him to be thoughtful to be mm -hmm. curious, to be in charge of his emotions, to not fly off the handle. And yes, is it painstaking? I was recently out this summer with my mom and she was watching me try to parent Jaya. And she said she had to walk away. Oh, yeah. 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 And I, and a lot of grandparents it, do. I get that, because she's just like, just tell him what it is. And ultimately there was a kind of like, and we're doing this. I, but I did, I, I, I respect him as a human being. And I think that's what we're trying to do that maybe sometimes our parents didn't do. Well, do you yes. respect oh. kids? <laughs> Yes. Sorry. No, 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 no. I do this think the good. idea of like good parenting is like new, like it just dropped. Like I think that parenting is so hard. I'm I don't want to do it. I'm never gonna do it. I think any parent <laughs> is stronger than all of the US Marines combined. Uh. Like, it's the <laughs> hardest job in the entire world. And to on top of that, try and raise a good person is so noble, which is why I'm like, absolutely not, peace out. But to, to raise, a, especially a boy, because when you're a young woman and you're dating men and you go, what do you think? And then they go, I've never had a thought in my life. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> what do you feel about that? You're having a conversation or you're having a fight and they go, I don't know what I'm feeling. I've never had a single feeling. That could be fixed by raising boys to become men. I love that you're saying this. Oh, oh, I love you too. And you have an incredible job. But, but the majority of people, what are there, 8 billion people on planet yeah, Earth now? Sure. The majority of us are good people. Like the, the, the majority of us are yes, good. Yes, I agree. So,
actually, I, I understand what you're saying. It's really beautiful, actually, everything that's been said, and I agree with it. But I wonder if the pendulum has swung so far to, to the other side. I think it has. I think some parents have forgotten the word no. Yeah. yeah. Some parents have forgotten yeah. how to say yeah. no. Yeah. And that is true. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. No, definitely. I think I believe all these things. And then when I'm in a restaurant and a child is screaming, yeah. I abandon those thoughts immediately. And I go, can yeah. we please take the child out of the restaurant? Don't, don't, yes. Don't ask a three-year-old what they want for dinner because they don't know. <laughs> We've got so many more must-see interviews, spicy debates, lifestyle tips, and pop culture moments. So subscribe to our channel by tapping the logo below and don't miss out.